this is Suzanne Freeman, and I am sharing today from the book Stepping Forward, a devotional written by Pastor Mike Lingenfelter. We are on day 30, and it's entitled Surrender to God. The verse for today is Ephesians 5.18, and do not be drunk with wine, for in that is dissipation, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. We know in our culture there's a big problem with drunkenness, and that we know drunkenness is being under the influence of alcohol. It impairs our thinking, our judgment, and there's many costs to it. Uh, Neglected children, abuse, drunk driving, which results in murders, and so we know the devastation that this is causing in our culture, and Ephesus had that problem as well. It was even in their worship. To worship Dionysus, the goddess, they used alcohol to get to an elevated state of of, uh, thinking in their worship. And so we know it's a problem then, it is a problem now, and but it's not just alcoholism. Anything that controls us, even anger, um, gluttony, lust, we have a porn problem in our country, and porn actually, pornography actually changes the brain chemistry, and so you will do and act and think in ways that you never thought that you would go that is not natural to you. And so that is the way it is when we are controlled by a sin, by a certain substance. Instead, Paul says, be filled with the Holy Spirit. And what does that mean? That is where we surrender totally our thoughts, our our actions, our words to God on a daily basis, saying, Lord, you take my thoughts and my actions, and we surrender them to him, and we're we're in his word, and knowing his will, and walking in obedience to him on a daily basis. When a drunk wants to stay drunk, they keep drinking, and being filled with the Holy Spirit, that verb is a present progressive, meaning that it's constantly happening. You are being filled. He says, be being filled means constantly that we are imbibing on him, so to speak, and then he can take control. And just like when we're under the influence of alcohol, we say and things and do things that are, that we would not normally do. When we are under the control of the Holy Spirit, we will say and do things that are not natural to us, but it will be in a, a, in in a positive way, in a God-fearing sense. And so I like what Pastor Mike says. He says, our life ought to be a continual surrendering to the control and influence of the Holy Spirit. This is the key to the Christian life after receiving Jesus as Savior. We should be on our knees in humility, asking God to forgive us for resisting him. He wants to fill us completely with his spirit. But when we hold him back by not yielding to him, he does not supply us with his vast and holy resources. So going back to what we said before, We don't want to be under the control of an emotion, of a sin. And if we are, we need to surrender that and repent before God and say, Lord, take me and and cleanse me. And then the Bible says that he uses clean vessels. And then we need to surrender to him and say, whatever you have for us, whatever you have for me, whatever you want me to do, I will do for you. And, and, and have that open heart and that surrendered life to the Holy Spirit for him to use us. And he says he will. He will use us. So surrender your tradition, even the things that you've been taught. I really encourage you to take 1 Corinthians 12, 13, 14. Read those about the gifts of the Spirit and how they can be used in operation in the church. Say, Lord, how can you use me? Because we know it's not all about me. That's why many people quit drinking alcohol and getting drunk is because they're concerned about how it affects other people. And when you are filled with the Holy Spirit, and this will be in the next day, day 31, you will have a great impact on the world around you, including your family. And so let's seek Him. Let's seek Him. Let's surrender to Him. Let's not follow after the deeds of the flesh because we know that leads to death. Let's follow the Holy Spirit for that leads to life. So what do we do? What is God saying to me right now? What has he been asking you to do and you've been putting him off and resisting him? 
because you are caught up in a sin or caught up in your own desires. And how should I respond? Let's respond in humility and say, Lord, I want you to use me. I want you to clean me. And whatever you have for me, I am willing to do. Thank you.